No, I'm not glowing from some magical thing. I'm glowing because the sun is bouncing off my mom's car window outside and hitting me. And it's killing me, but, you know, not literally, but it just it hurts. But I have got no way to avoid it. So, you know, I didn't want a vlog sitting on the floor this time. Just not for this one. This is another autism vlog. And what's it about, Cindy? Oh my gosh, I must know. What's this vlog about? Well, it's about a very casual form of ableism that is actually very harmful to both autistic and intellectually disabled people. Now, people can be autistic or intellectually disabled, or they can be both autistic and intellectually disabled. Now, it, it does happen. Okay, so what's this vlog going to discuss? Infantilization in the form of mental ages. So what's a mental age? Well, I can easily demonstrate that to you. Cindy, me, Cindy is 36 years old. She's autistic and she has the mind of an eight year old. Hmm. Cindy is 36 years old. She's autistic and she's an eight year old in a 36 year old body. She's a child in a woman's body. Um, I'm looking for the eight-year-old. Do you see any eight-year-olds in here? Do you? Any eight-year-olds in here? Um, let's see. Um, eight-year-old? No. No. I don't see any eight-year-olds. Do you? So... Why do you even say that? I'm not eight, I'm 36. The only eight year olds there are are eight year old kids that are existing right now at eight years old because they've been on the earth for eight years. And if it's your eighth birthday today, happy birthday, you're cool. Mwah. So why are mental ages so damaging? Why are they harmful? Why are they offensive? Because they infantilize us. If you say somebody with Downs is 40 with the mind of a two-year-old, well, how do you think they're going to be treated? How do you think I've been treated? People hear the person's physical age, but then they hear the mental age. Which way do you think they're going to talk to the person? How do you think they're going to speak to them and treat them? Not like their actual age. When somebody hears that somebody has the mind of a two-year-old, they talk to them like they're two. They treat them like they're two. You know, and they treat them like they're only as intelligent as a two-year-old kid. Okay, a two-year-old kid has only been on Earth for two years. And if they're able to walk, they may still be figuring that out. They might be a bit clumsy. Now, a 40-year-old is not two. A 40-year-old has been on this Earth for 40 years. They have 40 years of experience with their brain, their body, and just existing in the world and learning things. They're not as smart as a two-year-old. They're not only as intelligent as a two-year-old. I'm not only as intelligent as an eight-year-old, am I? No. But when you say someone is like their physical age and then you give them a mental age, it's assumed that they're only as smart as whatever the mental age is. And it doesn't even consider the experience of their life up to their current age. Like for me, I've been here for 36 years. Oh yay, the sun's moving. <laughs> I can sing again! But, um... You know, when people use mental ages on me, it's like, it just completely erases the 36 years of my life. It just erases it all and just puts me in this little ball of, well, she's only as smart as an 8 year old. Well, 8-year-olds don't know as much as 36-year-olds, do they? You know, I've got life experience. I can talk about, you know, autism and sensory issues because I've been driving this body. I've been driving this body. Ow. I hit myself in the face my tangle. I've been driving this body for 36 years. So I know a bit more about how it works than an 8-year-old would. 
but if someone just assumes I'm eight, they're gonna assume that I don't know what I'm talking about, they're gonna assume that I'm talking nonsense, they're gonna assume that, you know, that I'm just making stuff up, and that, oh, you can't really know that. You, you don't know that. You're not smart enough to know that. Ugh. That's why mental ages are terrible. That's why they're harmful. They piss me off, honestly. Mental ages piss me off. Because, you know, if I hear somebody say, well, my autistic sister, she's 18 with the mind of a 22-month-old, it's like, shut up. Your sister is 22. Treat her like she's 22. Speak to her like she's 22. I don't care if she's wearing a diaper and sucking her thumb. You know, I don't care if she's nonverbal. I don't care. Treat her like an adult. That's respect. When you use mental ages, you are disrespecting people. It's disrespectful. Because, like I said, it just erases their life experience. And just because they can't talk to tell you what their life experience is, doesn't mean they don't have any. Also, nonverbal does not equal non-thinking. The thinking pattern... Whoa, now the sun's going behind clouds. The thinking pattern may be very different from what you're used to. Like, the way I think is images and sensory information, and I turn it into words and then I either write them or I say them. Although it's easier to write them than to say them, for me. But a person who may only think in images or sensory information or may think in a way that cannot be described, they still think. So when, when someone just dismisses me as having the mind of an eight-year-old, they're dismissing my life experience and they're dismissing what I have to say because it creates the assumption that I'm too young to understand what I'm talking about. Um, no. I'm not. I'm not too young to understand what I'm talking about. I've been here for 36 years. There are things I don't know. Yeah, there are things that I do not know. And that's one thing, but there are a lot more things an 8-year-old doesn't know than there is for a 36-year-old to not know. You know, an eight-year-old is not going to know how sex works unless either they got the talk or they were hurt in a very, very bad way, which I hope has not happened to any of my viewers. And if it is, I am so very sorry that you were hurt that way. So mental ages, don't use them. They are extremely degrading. They're offensive. And they're erasure, really. They erase the person and just put this this child or this infant in their place that is not them. People who are autistic or intellectually disabled or who are both, they deserve to be respected for the age they are, regardless of how they behave. They should be treated with respect like adults. You know, it's like, what about people with Alzheimer's or dementia? You know, these are people that are losing the brain. And by the way, a thing about dementia, people think it's memory. It's not. It's brain failure. I learned that from Tipa Snow. Tipa, if you see this, you're awesome. I love you. I love your videos. I've learned a lot. But, you know, heart failure, you know, you can't breathe too well. You don't yell at somebody in heart failure going, you, you gotta breathe better. You don't tell someone in kidney failure that you gotta pee better. But we tell people who have dementia or an Alzheimer's Dementia is an umbrella, and Alzheimer's is just one of the terms for it. But we treat people with Alzheimer's like crap because we expect them to be the person they were. But someone with Alzheimer's is doing the best they can with what they have left because their brain is failing. Their brain is failing, just like a kidney or a heart fails. Now, that doesn't mean that autistic and intellectually disabled people have failed brains. It's just their brain works a different way. But you should respect the fact that their brain works a different way, but still treat them respectfully as the age they are. If they're eight years old, okay, talk to them and treat them like they're eight. If they're 36 years old like me, treat me like I'm 36. You know, if something is not clear, I may ask you to clarify it for me. That doesn't mean that I'm not smart. It just means that I just need something to be a little clearer to me so that I can understand it better. A lack of understanding is not a lack of intellect. It's just, my brain is just like, oh, 
this, this information is a bit too big. Can you shrink it a little bit and put it in a TARDIS and shove it in my ear? Because when you shrink it down and shove it in my ear like a TARDIS and explain it in a different way, all of a sudden the door opens and it's bigger on the inside and it's like, oh, okay. Isn't that cool? I love the TARDIS. I love Doctor Who. <laughs> anyway, that's that about Middle Ages and I hope they've been educational. I hope that this video has been kind of like a TARDIS being shoved into your brain and changes how you talk about the people in your life that are intellectually disabled or autistic. I really hope it makes a difference. You don't have to go in about their intelligence, just they're intellectually disabled or they're autistic and leave it at that. Okay? Because we're not kids unless we are physically actually kids. We're not kids. Okay? Bye!